Hi everyone, I'm Joel from Joel Practice and today is April 18th, 2014 and I'm going to be um, doing some uh, gravity swings. I call this the hammer um, and I start my swing from here, I bring it over and I come around and I let gravity and momentum take that club around. And I've been practicing this for about two months. I uh, came up with this because I pinched the nerve in my back and um, I just couldn't... Uh, do it the old way. Uh, I uh, was really stinking it up doing it the old way and uh, taking the club from here and bringing it back. For me it wasn't a natural swing. From here it's more natural um, for me um, and I've been doing this. I'm going to do a little demonstration. I've been practicing this on my invention. My invention is um, patented. Um, it's called Bad Larry um, and the company name is Joe Practice. Um, I have it actually mounted on uh, golf, my golf bag. I also have it um, in a stand form, and uh, and you can also uh, get it for baseball, boxing, uh, and any other sport that you can think of. And it's basically string theory. It's the um, a target that you can repeat your swing without your swing being impeded uh, by the target itself. Um, I'll do a couple of uh, swings on uh, Bad Larry, and then I'll do some live balls, and I'll see you. Okay, with this gravity swing that I use, I take it from here. I used to, I used to have it here and bring it around like a clock, and now I've been taking it from here, and then I get into the slot this way. To me, it's more natural. Um, just imagine in boxing if you took your punch from your opponent's face and brought it back into him. That wouldn't work. In any other sport, that would not work, taking the club from the target and then bringing it up. So what I do is I set my club on the target, I bring it up, I get it into the slot and I let gravity bring it around and then I come out and hit it. Um, I'm going to practice this on the, my uh, Bad Larry target right here. What I usually do at night is I practice it, I have a, a little bar stool that I swivel on and I do one-handers. So I'll bring it up here, I'll bring it around and I do a lot of one-handers. That helps me with my uh, grip and where my hands are. Um, so I do that a lot. So I bring it around and come around this way. I like to have the target on the ground. You can use any club at all to do it. Um, but with the, with the, I'll set the club and then I bring it into the slot and then I come around. Bring it into the slot, come around. So what's good about this is if you don't hit it right the first time, you get another chance to hit it, and another chance to hit it, and another chance to hit it until you get it right. And that's what's great about repeating. So I'll do... And I can also bring it back. I do a lot of, I'll do like one footers, I'll balance and swing. Or I'll close my eyes and swing. I'll bring it down, close my eyes, and try to get a feeling that way for it. So there's almost nothing that you can't do with string or this type of uh, an invention. Um, I call this the chute. There's a little path this way between my deck and the garage. And there's a target that I try to hit.
more. All right, that's the hammer. Uh, try that. That might help you, especially if you guys have a bad back, uh, like me, with the pinched nerve. Um, that'll kind of be a little bit less invasive on it. Um, like I said, I don't like the traditional golf swing, bringing it back here, because it just, every time I swing like that, it screws up my back. And I don't get the power or the contact. This new way, I love it. I get great contact and uh, great control. Try that. Joe Practice. Signing off. Take care.